Hi guys and welcome back to another video now today what I'm going to be bringing you is a Bradford City versus Hartlepool United vlog now just before we get into today's video if you could drop a like on it can we try and hit 100 likes on today's video that would be massively appreciated subscribe if you are new as well we are on the road to 5,000 subscribers trying to hit that by the end of the year so if you could subscribe that would be massively appreciated turn your post notification bell on as well so you never miss a video of when I upload drop a comment in down below to help boost the video in the YouTube algorithm what are your thoughts on the game how do you think it went obviously I'm recording this before the game but you'll be seeing this obviously after the game so you'll know how it went so drop a comment of your thoughts on the game share the video around with your family and friends but Hartlepool fair play to their fans I think they're bringing around 800 which on, even on a Saturday that would be fantastic support but on a Tuesday night considering their away record which we'll touch on in a second that is absolutely fantastic support going back on to their away record so far this season I think they've played six games away from home 1-0 drawn one which was against Oldham Athletic and lost five which we all know means it's got a 1-0 Hartlepool written all over you. Maybe of Bradford City teams in the past, would that be the case? Obviously, we're unbeaten still at home as well. It's a must win though tonight. And it is, I think it really is a test of character. In terms of a score prediction, I am going to go with 2-1 to Bradford City. I'm going to go with Andy Cook and Callum Cook to get the goals for Bradford City. And then for Hartlepool, I'm going to go with the former Bantam, Gary Little, to net the goal for them. I don't really know if he plays too much for them these days, but he's a former Bradford player. One of the only players that I do actually know who play for Hartlepool but make sure you drop a like on today's video subscribe if you are new as well and let's get into it I tell you what that support of Hartlepool is absolutely amazing I haven't heard him shut up since I got here for the last 15 minutes that is absolutely unreal fair play to um, all of them that are coming and making a, a decent atmosphere there Thank you. 
free kick. And then Hardy literally got his shirt taken off. That's a fucking forward again with number two on this near side. Number <coughs> two is one one two 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 one
I'm a little bit speechless after that one. I'm not happy. I might still have a smile on my face, but I'm not happy at all after that. Firstly, before we get into the game, I just want to say a massive shout out to the Hartlepool fans. They were absolutely incredible. From minute one to minute 90, they did not stop singing. They were absolutely incredible. They were some of the best fans I've ever seen at Valley Parade, not just this season, but in general for a Tuesday night to bring that many. I think they were all pretty much all stood up, you know, the bouncing around from the first minute right until the last. They were absolutely incredible. So fair play to them for that. But onto the game. Terrible, absolutely terrible. I'm absolutely fuming with what I've just witnessed. Thankfully, it was only a home game, so it's only taken about 20 minutes to get home, but I don't, I don't have words for that. They've not scored away from home in eight hours of football. They've not won away from home all season. They've lost every game away from home, bar one. What is the full-time result? Bradford City won, Hartlepool United 3. And the funny thing is, we all predicted it at the start of the game. As much as I might have said 2-1 to Bradford, I mentioned it in my match preview yesterday, I could quite easily see Hartlepool getting the win. And they did, and the thoroughly deserved it. They were so much better than us, they wanted it more, they were hungrier for it, and I, I have so much to say, and I'm just so speechless at the same time, because I just can't believe how bad that it actually was. Even at 2-1, you're thinking, there's only going to be one winner in this game, even though we've just scored, and you think the momentum should shift, which is usually what happens when that happens to us, you know, we'll concede and then we'll sit back. Hartlepool didn't, they were still aggressive, they were still on the front foot and they got the third goal through, uh, and obviously a song go on goal. I, th I think tonight, no one was really above a 5 out of 10. I think Matty Folds in the second half was, was okay. Uh, I'm trying to think of anyone else who was half decent. I thought Callum Cook was okay, just the, oh, his final ball was very poor. Sometimes he got caught out in possession as well. Like There were some times where I think, yeah, he, he's done alright there, but then other times, I think he was very inconsistent tonight, it was Callum Cook. O'Donnell, absolutely terrible. Don't even get me started on O'Donnell. The first goal, I don't know what the hell that he's doing. He parries it straight to the Hartlepool man. The second goal, I mean, he, he, he's already given up on it before the head, head is into the back of the net. The third goal, couldn't really do too much about, but... Uh, yeah, Threl Keld, Warful, Pordy, Songo, alright, nothing special, Watt again terrible, Sutton didn't not, not really existent, I already spoke on Callum Cook, Gilead, I mean do I need to say Gilead just had a Gilead performance, Vernon non-existent, Andy Cook as well, bullied, had three or four men on them every time, that was the thing with Callum Cook and Charles Vernon as well, every time they got the ball they had two or three men on them. Literally could not do anything, but I can't ramble on for too long. I might do a video in the next coming days what is going on at Bradford City because right now it's just an absolute shambles. It is absolutely so painful to watch. Please sort it out. Stefan, sell the club. None of the fans want you here anymore. You're no longer wanted at Bradford City. As you can, I'm sure you'll all be able to tell on social media. We need an owner who actually cares about the club. He's actually going to come to matches. I don't know if that's something to do with COVID or not, but even before COVID, he didn't really come to matches anyway, did he? We need somebody who's going to invest in the squad, you know, when we need to make changes, no disrespect, but we can't be bringing on players like Keelan Laverty or Robinson. They're on for half an hour, 20 minutes. What did they do? Absolutely terrible. Um, sell the club, please, Stefan. You no longer want it at Bradford City. Uh, and it goes all the way down, doesn't it? It's, it's Stefan not investing any money, so then Ryan Spikes and Derek Adams can't sign any players. Adams then has to pick poor standard players. Then poor standard players are obviously not good enough for the level, so they deliver a poor standard result. It just all, it all seeks from the top. And again, it's another very long outro, but I needed to get a, a rant off my chest. It was absolutely terrible, but full credit has to go to Hartlepool, you know, at least that that we have lost the game in the, in the manner that we did. At least it's gone to a club with actual good fans um, and a club that, you know, deserves it, to be honest with you. They've been, uh, they, they've had a very bad few years the, the recently on the up as well, so at least we've lost to someone like them rather than a, a Forest Green, a Stevenage, something like that. You know, we've actually lost to a half-decent club, but I don't like losing. I'm absolutely fuming with what I've seen. It needs to be sorted out for Saturday. Will it? Absolutely not. I don't even think we'll end up selling 300 tickets. I mean, fair play to those that are going. I won't be wasting my money. I'm only going to Port Vale to just because he's another ground to tick off of the 92, but yeah, absolutely shocking. Make sure you drop a like on today's video. If you could hit 100 likes, as I said at the start of the video, that'd be absolutely class. Subscribe if you are new as well. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.